Now here's a part that a lot of agents, um, I think, don't talk about or don't do, and that I think is really important. Um, that's after closing day. After closing day, I still want to keep a relationship with you. Uh, there might be questions that come up. Um, you might be, uh, somebody might reach out to you with, with something about the property. Um, and how nice is it that we can still have an open line of communication um, about that? For example, just the other day, a seller reached out to me. It's uh, currently at the time of this recording. It's the end of the calendar year and the holiday time. And I have a seller who sold back in May, I believe, April, May. They sold. They purchased in April, sold in May. Um, they had a photo album created for family or for a gift, and it went to the old address. So the sellers reached out to me and said, hey, Jenna, because we've had this open line of communication, We've been in touch multiple times just about different things. Hey, how, you know, settling into the new house. How are your goals going? Um, because you're more than a commission check, you're a person. And we've developed this relationship, this working relationship. And I want to continue to nurture that because you'll have um, friends or family or people in your life that you'll want to. Uh, that will be ready for real estate transactions and you'll want them to receive the same kind of care and treatment you did during your process. So we'll keep the, the conversation going even after closing day so that you can have a, a great referral uh, for your friends and family and also a source to help you, you know, reclaim the uh, photo album that was delivered to the old house instead of the current house. So we got that taken care of in just a couple of phone calls. And, um, and, and everybody's happy. The, the pictures are going to land in the right place. And that's in part of uh, the continued relationship that I've had with those sellers.